Welcome to Musician Talks with Dame Smith, and this is episode 22, and I want to talk to you guys today about challenging your skill sets as an artist. Um, first, before I get into that, do some adjustments real quick, I want to make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe the video, subscribe to the channel, share to all your friends, anybody you know that's interested in the music industry, being a musician or is currently working as a musician or if you just want to learn more about artistry and being a creative and what it's like today in today's topic as i said before is challenging your skill sets and what that means why you should do it as an artist and what benefits you get from doing it now why you should do it is very important You want to challenge your skill sets as an artist to not only do the obvious, which is to improve your skill set, but you can also identify and pinpoint your weaknesses as an artist. So, for example, if you're a musician who can play the instrument well, but can't necessarily sight read as well, the challenge in that would be for you to be able to sight read on the fly you know if i were to put a piece of music in front of you could you you know play at least decently throughout the piece kind of like when you're reading a book you don't need to look up every word in the sentences to understand or to even you know regurgitate the words in front of you so similar in sight reading you're gonna have to practice but what comes with that is you can't practice things that you can already grasp, understand, and generally, you know, uh, perform well in. What you need to do is you need to um, find ways to challenge yourself as a sight reader. One way you can do that is music stores that sell sheet music, they have various difficulties. And if you've played, you know, if you read sheet music, you already know this, but there's varying difficulties in the sheet music of let's say the same song or same soundtrack for the same instrument. And the reason they do this is because um, different age groups and different skill levels learn at different paces. And the complexity of music, or just say a particular song, the complexity of a particular song can be altered so that you can keep the um, feeling and theme and general um, mood of the song and not diminish its like quality. So kind of like how you can hear people play the classics like Ba Ba Black Sheep or Mary Had a Little Lamb and then from one skill set to another skill set that same song let's say Mary Had a Little Lamb one player may have way more embellishments in the song whereas another player would play generally the very um, basic version of the song now here's where the challenging skill sets happen and why it's important for artists. If you're the player who can play very well, and very dynamically, but you struggle in sight reading or just reading music in general, it would benefit that artist to challenge themselves to read more often and to gradually get more and more difficult in the sight, in the sheet music, because the skill set that this person has, they'll be able to identify it on paper when it becomes time to, you know, perform it. Because a lot of the people in the music industry, they call them licks, which is like little, maybe like one or two bar uh, or beats of um, music that would be kind of unique to either the song, the instrument, or the player. But if you can play all these licks, most of the licks you've heard before or most of the licks have been recorded already, unless you're doing some, you know, very outlandish stuff on your instrument. But once you can put together what you're doing on the instrument, plus being able to visually see it, this will heighten your awareness as a, as a musician while you're on stage. 
So now if you are in a situation where you are challenging your skill set through, uh, like, let's again, to keep the example the same, uh, reading music, as you're reading music, you'll start to understand where you fit in an ensemble, your role in the ensemble better. You can understand um, other players' roles in the ensemble, as well as you can understand what the music requires of you as a musician. Uh, and it what that helps you with is your ability to perform better. So to tie it all in and to make it very, very simple, it's, as, it's similar to uh, having muscular memory, right? If you're playing a song over and over and over and over and over again, we'll take it off music. If you're doing the same exercise over and over and over again, let's say push-ups, you'll get really, really good at that exercise. Challenging you would be to add weight or to add variegation in the movement, right? And what that does is it allows your muscles to understand that you're not necessarily required to do this one move. You're required to be able to adapt and to uh, build up strength and balance and the other things that you need. And this helps develop an artist in many ways that are greater than, oh, I can play this one song really well, or I can play this instrument very well. It now turns into, which is super beneficial for artists, it now turns into, um, I can almost play anything. If you can put it in sheet music and you put it in front of me, let's say you just take some time with it, practice it and learn it, you could play it versus the musician who cannot read or the musician who struggles with reading, the, music, the musician who struggles will have a lot longer time to have to sit and practice with music, and the musician who obviously cannot read would have to start from ground one with the basics of learning how to read. So it gives you an advantage in your skill set, but that's only because you chose to challenge it. Where many musicians, not necessarily greatly successful ones, but many musicians can get by with not having to read because they're either creating their own music um, and many other musicians, they don't necessarily need to sight read, but understanding how to read music helps them create their music at a greater level. And the way that works is the very same way where instead of picking up books, and reading them to play them, you can pick up books to read them to understand how the music works and read along with the song that's playing. You can um, take your own manuscript and begin to write along with the music and things like that, to write what you hear. Or you can sit in front of a piano with your manuscript and learn how to notate maybe eight bars, 16 bars, and then you'll be able to create songs like that. Um, and then you can go into like song structure and things like that but that's another conversation but doing that as an artist challenges you to become better and it challenges you to adapt and that adaptation is very very important as an artist especially if you want to get into music business where what you do today as an artist will not dictate what the music industry will be doing tomorrow so similar um to how jazz musicians were the rage in America. They technically still are, but how their jazz musicians, how people are jazz musicians today has shifted. So that adaptation is there, but at the end of the day, the basics are still there. So once you can master the basics, now the challenging comes into putting yourself in situations where you must either adapt on the fly, adapt quickly, or adapt effectively. And that's what I have today about artists challenging their skill sets and making sure that you're getting the most benefit out of it. And I gave you a few ways on how you can do that with my uh, sheet music example. So that's it for today. This was episode 22. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. You can share this video everywhere. I'll be here every single day except Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the East Coast. All right. That's me. And I'm out.